Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Hi, welcome to Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii. Well, I don't know if, you, if you've had a chance to watch my commentary, which is called, Can You Do the Impossible? I hope you do, because this show is going to be about somebody who really has done the, the impossible. And before we do that, I want to tell you that last weekend I was in uh, L.A. for the NBA All-Star break, and I work with one of my clients, Spencer Dinwiddie. Spencer is a NBA player for the Brooklyn Nets, and we're working on a project that is so exciting, I'm going to have Spencer on the show. And then I've been watching a lot of the Olympics, and all of it is can you do the impossible? Can you make a product? Can you do something that other people try so hard to do? And what does it take to do it? What is that roadmap to success? What makes us able to do things that other people cannot? So I've come up with something that I think is going to be an acronym for doing the impossible. And that is PACS, P-A-C-S. What does it take? I, I honestly believe that after all the years that I have been consulting, after all the people that I've mentored, I think PAX is going to be what I'm going to use as the most important tool to success. And what is it? Passion. Passion. Passion in interpersonal relationships, passion in business, passion in even falling in love. That is what ta it takes to really become successful in life in everything. Analysis. How do we analyze what we're doing? Is it right? Are, do we look at it from the focus side? Do we look at it from structure, from discipline, from being able to make our product work, from being able to make our personal relationships work, to make sure that our marriages work? And then commitment. The ability to commit to whatever we want to do the ability to commit everything we have, our brain power, our, uh, our ability to even focus on everything, our ability to make whatever judgments are correct to make that commitment. And then, of course, the last is, is success. Well, success doesn't happen easily. Just because we do step one, step two, and step three doesn't ensure success. Success, success is a constant pr progress. It's something we have to do over and over and over again. We have to always have our passion, our analysis, and our commitment to be successful. So I'm going to be using PAX, and I'm going to be talking about PAX in our commentary, but I want you to know that I think this is really the path forward for anybody who wants to have a successful business, a successful marriage, anything that you want to do, you are going to have to follow PAX to make sure that it works. So without further ado, I want to introduce my guest. Uh, this is Javon Chandler. Javon, thank you for coming on Seymour's World. Thanks for having me, Seymour. I have been mentoring you for the last two years in your business, and I feel that you are one of my most successful clients that I've had. And I don't charge you for anything because I really am happy to do what I do for you. So uh, I want you to tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us where you come from and how we, how we ended up meeting. Yeah, sure. So um, we ended up, uh, well, first, I'm from a small town in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Um, you know, I had uh, always, you know, had this grand vision of becoming an entrepreneur. And, um, you know, uh, it's something that I started at the age of 12. You know, they called me Avon Javon. You know, I used to sell makeup. Avon uh, Javon. Avon Javon. I love that. <laughs> and you actually sold makeup? I sold women's products um, in general. You know, I would go door to door, hey, um, you know, this is why you should buy this makeup. I think this makeup would be perfect for you. You know, and I would come up with this amazing, you know, this cool sales pitch. Mm -hmm. And then from that, I continued, uh, moved to Orlando, and now I'm here, uh, your own Seymour's world. Well, that's cool. <laughs> well, tell us about, you are a Marine. Uh, yes. You have just retired. Yes. To enter the business world, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, when you retired to enter the business world, I think I met you, it was two years ago, you were still a Marine. Yes. And you were balancing your career as well as your entrepreneurial spirit. Yes. And you had, uh, you had thought of a product. Tell us about the product. Okay. So, um, 
as far as the product, you know, uh, I, you know, I thought we were doing something called a, a helo dunker in the Marine Corps. So that's basically when we go through a helicopter crash simulation. So we have to go in the water. They spin us around, and it's absolutely, uh, absolutely crazy. Um, and so I figured, you know, what if I could see better? What if I could see better underwater and see what's, um, you know, see what's out there? It would help me save myself more efficiently and my buddy. And so, you know, I first wanted to start with this right here, uh, the full face snorkel mask. Um, so I, uh, I begin with this, and um, it's been doing, uh, it's been doing pretty, uh, uh, pretty well for me. People you've uh, sold thousands of these, right? Uh, yes, a few, a and few. by yourself. You, uh, yes, you've done this all on your own. I was so excited when you came to me and you said, Seymour, I've got a product, I want to sell it. And I asked you, well, have you made it yet? And you said, yes. And you're how old again? I'm 28, just turned 28. So 28 years old, you came to me and you said, okay, I've got this product and I'm selling it. And I said, okay, what do you need me for? And then you came up and you said, I need you because I need to make sure that I can build this business. Mm -hmm. So tell us about it. Tell us about the product itself. Okay, so um, the full face snorkel mask, it came out, uh, you know, a few years ago. Um, and so, you know, I saw it, I'm like, hey, you know, I can make this better. You know, it looks okay. cool, but I can make it cooler. You know, so um, I did a few things as, uh, you know, oh, there you go. Um, so I did a, did a few things, you know, I added a GoPro mount on the top, so you can put a GoPro and go underwater and take some really cool shots like you've never done before. I added a, a, a reflective lens. So basically what that does is it enhances your view underwater and um, it makes it, it attracts light from the sun and uh, brings it into the mass so you can you can see better um, while you're underwater, even in murky water. I made the uh, sn the top snorkel a little bit wider so you get a better oxygen flow, and not to mention a, a canal for even more oxygen flow. And it separates the carbon dioxide that you um, breathe out. Um, oh. versus the oxygen that you bring into the mask. Oh, terrific. So the water doesn't go down into, into the mask? The water does not go down into the mask either. There is a, once you submerge totally underwater, there is a, a mechanism that raises to the top, blocks all air uh, from coming in, uh, or uh, water. And does in. water come into the mask itself, around the mask? No, uh, no, it does not. And I love this because the yeah. old mask where you have to slide it over mm -hmm. your head and all this stuff, this yeah. is easy to adjust and I love this, mm -hmm. this piece that you're doing here. Oh, thank you, well, thank you. So is this a patented item? Um, so far, no, this particular item isn't patent. We have some that we're working on, um, but this uh, we consider ours the best. Well, I, I know it's selling elsewhere, so you have yes. competition. We have to talk about the competition. As you know, we've talked about that as part of your business plan and how you're building the business. Mm -hmm. What about the competition? Okay. So, um, I mean, there's a few different price points. The price points are kind of, uh, you know, um, everywhere. So some of our competitors, you know, they sell them upwards as, uh, of $180. We sell ours uh, map for about 90 MSRP for $120. Um, there is, there is uh, cheaper options out there. Um, however, what ours, makes yours better? So what makes ours better is why do people go? Why do people want to snorkel? You know, they want to see cool things underwater. So that's why we added the lens in. You know, it it provides you a one to none um, underwater experience uh, for sure. And, and you have colored lenses. Yes. How many? Um, so we have for the lens we have uh, the uh, reflective lens and we have a clear lens. So the clear lens, I'll turn it around. Uh, the clear lens is just a, the standard. You know. Uh, Clear lens, 180 uh, degree view, panoramic view. Um, and we have about five different colors right now. Oh, very, very cool. So uh, this product you're selling, mm -hmm. and yet, uh, let's face it, you came to me because you wanted to distinguish yourself from other products that are in the Absolutely. market. And I introduce, introduce you to Jeff Krantz, who's yes. my good friend and mm -hmm. the owner of H2O Water Sports. They're yes. also a client of mine. But at the same time, we had a meeting and you guys just, I mean, I sat there like I was a log, you know, you guys were going back and forth about what to do with this. And tell mm -hmm. me what you see as the next generation for your product. Okay, yeah, and Jeff uh, has a lot of really good input. Uh, so the next generation is we, uh, we want to define ourselves as a, a re research and development company. So what we want to do is we want to take away this piece just sticking out of the water for you to get air. We want to make it to where you can submerge totally underwater in a contained mask and breathe for up from uh, 10 to 15 minutes of uh, underwater. Oh my God, without having those big tanks on your no back. No big tanks, no 50, 60 pound tanks, just you and the mask and your experience. So are you saying you're going to have some way 
to have oxygen in a canister or something like yes. that on or around the mask mm -hmm. that allows you to breathe underwater. What's that going to do for search and rescue? Um, you know, we think it'll do amazing things for search and rescue. You know, um, you know, I had a had a had a vision the other day. You know, uh, uh, during my uh, you know visualization rants, and uh, you know, um, you know, I saw a lifeguard, you know, uh, going out in the ocean to save somebody. Now, um, as you know, it gets pretty deep out there. Now they could take the they could take this mask, go out there with the mask, go into water, and they could save the drowning victim and provide a mask a mask for them. Um, as well to oh save God. that to save that person's life, which they can't do because they don't have the the exactly. tanks on them. They're, so when they're going out on their on their uh, uh, not ski doos, what do they call them? The the jet skis. Oh yeah, they go mm -hmm. out on the jet ski. They have the mask with them. Mm -hmm. They see a person drowning. They can go into the water with one of these, yep. have another one handy, put it on the person, and wow. Yep, and that they're both safe. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. both safe. Yeah, and. Uh, how do I invest in this company? <laughs> now, we talked well, about that, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So let's talk about the business plan a little bit about it. And, okay. uh, you know, we're going to talk on air with everybody listening. Mm -hmm. uh, the marketing is obviously going to be very simple. Yeah. But what about the R&D on it? How do, you, how do you develop something where you've got to engineer some type of uh, uh, attachment to this mask? Do you have somebody for that? You know, we have a few people. We have quite a few people, and I've been so blessed by the amount of people way smarter than me that are able to help me out. That's one of the uh, keys to being successful in business. <laughs> Make sure you surround, you remember that? Oh yeah. Surround yourself with people smarter than you. I've said that, yeah. a, if, I, if I could have a dollar for everybody that I've said that to, I'd be a very wealthy man. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, and so you know we're we're uh, currently working with a few uh, uh, engineering professors between uh, Hawaii Pacific University and University of Hawaii, and um, we are uh, we uh, have a deadline for uh, possibly by this summer it uh, us having the prototype, and then we'll go to the next phase of testing and uh, making sure that uh, this product is going to be the best thing for the market. And are you going to be able to patent the the invention of the attachment of the oxygen canisters? Yes, yes. We'll, we'll have various design and uh, utility patents. Okay. So as if we have talked about on your business plan, you're going to be raising the money for this. How 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 are you going to do it? Are you going to do it private equity? What what do you think you're going to be able to need to do something like this? Are you going to come to people like me? <laughs> or are you going to go uh, out in the open marketplace or get a loan? What do you see? Okay, so um, you know, um, starting out, we're going for uh, people like you. You know, the uh, the angel investor, the 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 passionate person, uh, the person that um, you know I can sit down with, and they want to put their input into the company as well. You know, I don't want a, a handout person. You know, I want a person that um, I can um, you know uh, receive advice, mentorship. Um, and various things like that from. And I feel like going the angel investor route is a more personable uh, route. Okay, take. so we're talking about a strategic investor, right? Yes. Uh, uh, somebody who wants to put money in but also adds value to the company. Exactly. All right, so that that's part of our passion and analysis and you know commitment, and that's going to be the success part. Mm -hmm. So what is your commitment? Are you working full-time on this? Uh, full-time, um, Full time, no. I have other pro uh, other projects that I'm currently working on as well. This takes up the majority of my time. I would say about eighty percent of my time, and um, I have a few other people that help me out. Uh, between Jeff, for instance, yes, uh, graphic designers, photographers, a few other people, engineers, and um, you know, we're just really seeing where we can take this thing. This you know? is fascinating because not Thank only you. are you going to save lives, but it becomes a marketable product for people who rent these things, right, on beaches oh, yeah. around the world. I, it is terrific. Now, we're mm -hmm. going to talk about commitment, both financial commitment, personal commitment, okay. and your investor's commitment after the break. I'm sorry, okay. but we're, we have to take a break, and we have to pay our sponsors to you know, make sure that we continue Seymour's world as we go. So we're going to come back in a moment after we have discussed our PACS, which is passion, Analysis, Commitment, and Success with Javon Chandler at Oahu Snorkel. Back in a minute. Good afternoon. My name is Howard Wig. I am the proud host of Code Green, a program on Think Tech Hawaii. We show at 3 o'clock in the afternoon every other Monday. My guests are specialists, both from here and the mainland, on energy efficiency, which means you do more for less electricity 
and you're generally safer and more comfortable while you're keeping dollars in your pocket. Aloha, I'm Winston Welch, and every other Monday at 3 p.m., you can join me at Out and About, a show where we explore a variety of topics, organizations, events, and the people who fuel them in our city, state, country, and world. So please join us every other Monday at 3, and we'll see you then. Aloha. Hi, welcome back to Seymour's World. Isn't it exciting? We're working with Javon Chandler on his new invention, and in the next few minutes, you're going to see where he is going and how he's going to get there. So Javon, welcome back. Thank you. That was amazing. I mean, I actually got chicken skin thinking <laughs> about a snorkel that you're going to be able to be underwater for for 10 or 15 minutes. Yes. I mean, that is absolutely terrific. Now, I got a letter from you just the other day <laughs> and I said, I have to put you on the show because you are the typical entrepreneur. You're the guy who has great vision. You're the guy, if you remember my passion analysis and my commitment and success, this is exactly, you're the exact type of person that has this. And then I got this letter from you. So, you know what? I think I want you to read the letter out loud. Would absolutely. you mind? Yeah, Go absolutely. Ahead. All right. That's your camera right there. Okay. So, um, uh, you know, uh, since Seymour a letter the other day, uh, and, uh, good morning, Seymour. I hope your day is well. Uh, it's been a while since we last met. Uh, I know you're working hard and pressing forward in full health this new year. I uh, have still been trucking along with my business also. I have been working with mechanical engineers, uh, engineering professors from uh, University of Hawaii um, on the breathing mask. Um, you know, they, uh, he's also working within my budget uh, to develop, to develop a team of engineers, scuba experts, a few Navy SEALs and MARSOC Marines on the project so we can assemble it. I am planning to contact you once it is complete by around um, this summer is my goal. On another note, I crave content and value every day and I feel that it gets me closer uh, like the people I admire so much, such as yourself. Some of the things I find to have so far been the most important to me and foremost is number one, character. Never lie or cheat, always work hard and never give up. Number two, attitude, being positive um, and by creating what you think the world should look like in your mind through visualization. You can bring it forth into the world. And number three, always have an open mind. I have viewed and valued all your content and emails you send out. I am amazed you do it for free. Lastly, I would like to know if you would be willing to be my mentor or uh, fill me out for a few days and see if I would be worth your while. I would be willing to do whatever I could or pay what I have. Looking forward to your thoughts, uh, Javon Chandler. Thank you, Javon. And I have to say, I'm responding to you on air. I am not going to charge you a penny. You are one of the young men at Thank 28 you. years old who I respect so much for what you do Thank you. and for what you have accomplished already in your young life. Thank you. And uh, it, it is my pleasure. Awesome. Absolutely Thank my you. pleasure to help you because I honestly feel not just because of the product, but because you can write a letter like this. <laughs> that makes me feel that this is the kind of guy that I want to make sure he's successful. Thank and you. It's absolutely my pleasure. So we're going to go into Generation 2, right? Okay. Absolutely. And Generation 2 is going to require money. Yes. Right? It's going to require a lot of effort on a lot of people's parts. You have legal expenses, accounting expenses, R&D expenses, production expenses. You know the list because you and I have gone over them. Yes. Right? So uh, as we talk about that, uh, we have to make sure that you're going to go forward in each of these areas and you're going to have to present a financial plan. And uh, just before the show, I said, how much money do you need? And you delineated how much money you need. And you said something around 200000 is that? 220000 220000 And you had that broken down in exactly the format that we talked about. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm going to need for R&D, right? Yes. 25000 I think, for yes. the engineer. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm going to need for legal to get the patent, because I insisted 
that you get a patent on this because otherwise it's I can copy this in China tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, I'm leaving for China next Saturday. <laughs> so as long as you trust me and I've signed my non-disclosure agreements with you, right, uh, I promise that I won't copy it. But yes, I could copy it tomorrow. So it's very important that we get this patented, yes. get the IP on it. What's the next phase? Production. Why don't you start with production? Right now you're producing what you have yes. in China. Tell us about how you're going to produce the next generation. So the first thing we're going to do is um, after we get the prototype uh, uh, fully built, um, we go into the testing phase, making sure everything's uh, A-OK. -okay. You know, this is a new product and uh, you know, no, nobody's ever made anything like this before. Mm -hmm. um, so um, after that, we go into the manufacturing phase. Um, we are planning to go overseas um, to Asia. We're going to get it uh, manufactured over there. We're going to send some of our people um, to uh, ensure uh, quality and make sure it's uh, in line with our intent on uh, what uh, all is going to uh, go in, go into the mask. So, in I, in in my terminal in my terminology, it's called QC and QA, <laughs> quality control and quality assurance. Okay. When you're dealing with a product where their life is at stake, you have to make sure that when they make the product for you, mm -hmm. that's called quality quality control. Yes. Quality assurance is to make sure that the liability passes from you, because if God forbid something should happen, mm -hmm. we have to make sure that the people in China understand that every time they make your new product with whatever canister issues that you have, etc., mm -hmm. that it is 100%, not 99%, yeah. but 100% perfect. So QC and QA will have to be mm -hmm. absolutely directed from you to your Chinese counterpart, correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And that's a, that's a really important thing for us, and we're gonna test every single mask and make sure that they're, uh, that they're um, a okay. Okay, good. And then once you produce the mask and you're ready to go forward, how are you gonna market it? That's a good question. So um, what I have always been uh, good at is influencer marketing. Um, you know, I know us millennials, um, so what you I'm, you're not talking about us old guys, right? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Um, so uh, what I'm, what, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to tap the uh, influencer side of things. So what is that? Why don't we're you gonna, describe that? To oh our yeah, sure. Audience. Um, so you guys ever looked on Facebook or Instagram and you saw this crazy cool guy or girl that has a hundred thousand, um, you know, likes or follows? So you know what we do is we uh, we find those kind of people who we think would be best suitable for our uh, our product, and we ask them, hey, would you want to um, invest some time into this um, and put it on your channel so that your viewers can see it? You know, whatever million, maybe two million, you know, some more than that. Um, and we're also going to do the uh, do it through social media and uh, raising awareness through different. Um, um, so let, let me ask you a question, of course, mm -hmm. and this is a live show with you as my client, basically, all right? Mm -hmm. How many of these do you think you're going to be able to sell this way? In what, what time frame? Uh, let's say in the first year of production, mm -hmm. how many of the new pieces of the snorkel with the canister set on it do you think you're going to sell? We're hoping around 20,000. Around 20,000. Mm -hmm. And the second year? The second year, we'd like to go up to 50 or Good. 60. And you remember we talked about that. We want a three-year performance, right? We want to be able to show what the revenue is going to be for the first three years, what the net profit will be, what the operating expenses will be, and what right. the EBITDA will be at the bottom, right? right? Which is what you're really going to net after all the expenses. Mm -hmm. So do you feel in the first year after $20,000, you will have recouped your investment and be able to give the investors back their money plus a profit? Yes, okay. we do. Good. 100%. Good, good. Now you said 100%. You guys heard that? He said 100%. <laughs> so if I'm investing in this, I'm expecting my money back plus profit mm -hmm. after the first year, correct? Absolutely. That's very important to us, okay, our good. relationships. Good, 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 good. All right, that's mm -hmm. great. Uh, I want to show some of the pictures. We've talked a little bit about business and all that, <laughs> but let's show some of the pictures that you brought with you. Who is that guy? Oh, is that, hey. is that you without that growth? He doesn't, <laughs> doesn't have a mustache or anything right there. And that how old were you? Um, right there, I was 27 uh, a few oh months God, ago. Oh my God, that's just last year. You look like a baby for crying <laughs> out loud. Let's see the next one. Oh. Uh, that's, that's me right after uh, I graduated boot camp, Marine Corps. Um, that's my, uh, my lovely grandmother. She is currently um, 84 years old, and she's uh, in wonderful health. 
I and where is death. she? Is she in North Carolina? She's in Columbus, Ohio. She's about to move to Las Vegas. Now you're how tall? I am six foot five. My God, I'm surrounded <laughs> with big guys. My son is six five. Spencer Dinwiddie, oh, who is the Brooklyn Nets uh, player mm -hmm. that I'm representing, he is six foot five. Mm -hmm. We're bringing, I told you, shoes and everything for him from oh, China, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Shoes, apparel. What's the next picture? Oh, <laughs> so that's some, that's some promo we did right there. Um, that's locations actually the Hilton Hawaiian uh, back by the uh, lagoon in the back and uh, this uh, the girl on the right she's a marine and uh, you know it takes lovely pictures and um, they really love the mask I gave them the mask for, uh, for free they love it they show it to all the, the testing friends. has been fantastic on this right absolutely okay cool what's the next one so oh, this is the, this is the photographer himself uh, he he wanted to go in there with a mask underwater and kind of uh, get the uh, uh, the view, uh, the fill of things. Okay. So here he goes. <laughs> cool. And the next one. Ah. So um, with that's your company. That's right? the company. Okay, so um, with ahead. every uh, with every single um, purchase of a mask, you get a free poster. This is what the poster looks like. Um, it's uh, a good size. Um, it's uh, 20, um, 20 inches long. Mm -hmm. um, you can hang it on your wall. Uh, whatever you want to do with yeah, it. Yeah, but you don't know it's you, right? At, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could be anybody that's in the poster. I love that. I love it. So you get a poster with, with each mask. You get a poster so with each mask. I, you said you've sold a few thousand of these already, right? Yes. And how have you done that? How have you sold? I mean, is it in stores or do you do social media? So um, as far as that, we make most of our sales uh, online, uh, e-commerce, uh, marketing uh, through Facebook, social media. Um, we, but you don't we, have to pay a percentage to Amazon or anything like that? You're doing it direct to the consumer? We actually don't uh, sell on Amazon yet. No Yeah, kidding. just on the website. I made all that off the website. Um, and uh, we are currently in uh, Belize. We're in a hotel in Belize. They, use, they sell them as uh, rentals. The clients love them. They so love you're them. doing international sales as well? Yes. I am so proud of you. <laughs> I, I, I just love it. Thank I you. mean, you're, you're doing such a great job of marketing your current project, plus you're ready for generation two, yeah. or is it three? No, two, right? Two. That, that mm -hmm. would be generation two with, yep. the, with, the, with the oxygen containers. And yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I still can hardly believe that you're going to invent a product in the next few months mm -hmm. uh, that is going, you're going to be able to be underwater for 10 to 15 minutes without yes. those big bulky tanks. That's it. What That's about it. regulations? That's all taken care of? You've, you've looked at all the regulations about canisters and oxygen under the water and all that stuff? Yes. Okay, um, so we have a few things that we have to uh, get tested and certified, such as the, uh, the cylinders, which, you know, I'm happy about because anything like that, to me, it's feedback. Water, of course. It's feedback, and we know we can do better. And um, so we're working on the material uh, to make the mask as lightweight as, as possible. Um, Terrific, Javon. It's just great. <laughs> well, sh Javon, our show is over. I'm sorry. Oh, and maybe you'll have to come back when the new one is up and Absolutely. ready to market and show people you know, how it is. Or, or we'll do a live one somewhere on a beach and go Absolutely. underwater with it together. Thank you so much for being on our show. It is just inspiring to me to have a young man like you with all that drive and motivation and passion <laughs> to do what you do. Thank to you. all of you out there, uh, thank you for watching Seymour's World. I hope you do watch Can You Do the Impossible? You're going to love that commentary. It's only two minutes long, but it'll give you an idea of why PAX works. Be well. Enjoy yourself. I'll see you after my trip from China. Aloha.